Asking questions and conducting investigations to find answers is something that I love to do. On this YouTube channel, I've conducted a number of experiments over the years. One of the big questions around growing avocado seeds is, should you do it in soil or water? It's a question I've asked and investigated myself about four years ago now, but it was a fairly small sample. The results of that experiment were that it was better to grow avocado seeds in soil, but it was such a small sample. A couple of years ago, I had a different question. I wanted to know if peeling the seed made a difference when germinating and growing them, but I wanted to get a much larger sample size. So I called on my audience of avocado enthusiasts to assist, and thus the first international avocado experiment was run, where we concluded that peeling the seed increased both the speed and likelihood of that seed germinating. Last year, I decided that I wanted to repeat the soil and water experiment to find out if avocado seeds germinated faster in one or the other. So it was time to give it an international avocado experiment treatment. So we ran the second international avocado experiment. That experiment has been run and the results have been collected. And so today it gives me great pleasure to draw our experiment to a conclusion and share our findings. Six months ago, we began this process following the scientific method. And the scientific method generally goes like this. First, we ask a question. The question of this experiment was, do avocado seeds grow faster in soil or water? And when I'm saying soil, I am meaning potting media. I know not it's not all soil, but we're calling it. <laughs> then we need to make a hypothesis, which is a prediction of what we think will happen. It was pointed out to me that maybe I should have kept the hypothesis to myself so as to avoid any potential bias and to have some blind studies. And that's a fair critique but I did publish the hypothesis and that was avocado seeds germinated and grown in soil will grow faster than seeds germinated and grown in water. I designed an experiment that would look to find out if the hypothesis was true or false. Each participant would set up two avocado seeds and record the starting date, one in soil and one in water. The soil one being the experiment group and the water being the control group. The soil would need to be watered regularly to keep it moist, and the one in water would need to have its water changed regularly so that it didn't you know, get fungi or other things growing so that it was clean. The date that either plant reached five centimeters would be recorded on a form. Then we ran our trials and participants, the fantastic community of avocado enthusiasts, entered their results on a form on my website for me to then look at and analyze. I've done the analysis, I've calculated the number of days between planting and reaching five centimeters in height, and I am ready to publish our findings. I can't wait any longer. This has been over six months in the making. Let's find out if our experiment showed it was better to grow avocado seeds in water or soil. For this experiment, we had a total of 16 participants. So we had 16 trials, which was a few less than I was hoping for, but it still was certainly more than I could do by myself. These people were spread out far and wide. Eight different countries were represented. Thank you, everybody. Let's talk about what we found. 25% of the control group, the group germinating in water, reached the targeted five centimeters by the end of the experiment. So one quarter of people got their water avocados to germinate and grow, which wasn't much when compared to the experiment group, which saw 87.5% of soil grown avocado seeds reaching the targeted height during the experiment. So from this experiment, Avocado seeds grown in soil are 62.5% more likely to reach five centimeters in height during the time period set by the experiment. And that's a pretty significant change. This shows that avocado seeds grown in soil are much more likely to grow faster than those grown in water. We didn't get a lot of trials where both seeds hit the targeted height during the experiment phase so that we could compare the number of days. And I will point out that in one trial, the experiment group didn't grow, but the control group in water did. Hmm. But this was the exception to what the rest of us saw. If we look at the gap in the number of days where both seeds grew to five centimeters, the group grown in soil reached five centimeters on average 9.6 days faster than the ones grown in water. 
The average number of days for the experiment groups to grow, by the way, was 60 days. So after our six month experiment, we found that during the period of time, the seeds grown in soil were 62.5% more likely to reach five centimeters in height than the seeds grown in water. We also found that in trials where both seeds reached five centimeters, all of the seeds grown in soil were faster and had an average time of 9.6 days less than the group grown in water. Though there weren't many trials that reached this, so it was difficult to draw a conclusion based on those comparisons. I'd love to know what would happen if we had 100 participants, if we would see the same or similar results, because 16 isn't massive, but it is certainly more than I did in my original experiment. The experiment confirmed our hypothesis, and I am pretty comfortable in saying that from our data during this experiment, we have seen that avocado seeds grown in soil grow faster than avocado seeds grown in water. I'm kicking myself a little bit that I didn't ask if the seeds germinated or the date that they did. So if we ever run this experiment again, I'd like to ask that to help us get an idea that if a seed's more likely to die in water, because we didn't ask the question, we can't find out. I also asked people to submit what potting media they were using, and we had a huge range of them. I'd be interested to see if the particular potting media has anything to do with the rest of it, though our sample was kind of too small to see any trends on this front. Though I was impressed to see that almost all of our choices had our own mixtures of things. A few were straight store-bought potting mix, which is fine. And there were a few people using the same mix that I do, and some who were making up their own, and that's fantastic. And there we have it. Yes, if you're interested in growing an avocado seed faster, you should grow it in soil when compared to growing it in water. Though in water, we do get to see all of those lovely roots, which is a benefit. <laughs> Thank you so much to all the people who participated in this experiment, who took the time to grow their avocado seeds, monitor them and report back to me with their results. Thank you. And thank you to all the people who sent me their images and videos of their experiments too. It was so lovely to be able to see them and to include them in our experiment video. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching this video. I hope that you have enjoyed it. And I'd love to know what you thought of it in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, check out the first International Avocado Experiment video, and I invite you to subscribe to Scott Grows an Avocado Tree. I also invite you to check out That's Pretty Cool, where I delve into topics that inspire in me a sense of curiosity and wonder. From well, how the moon works, to how waterfalls are formed, to how plants move, and how they change colour. You can find a whole range of topics over there. But avocado enthusiasts, that's where we'll leave it for today. I'm so grateful for you for participating and watching. Thank you again, take care, and I'll see you next time. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree.